If you notice a drop in water pressure in the field, check the secondary filter for the presence of any media. Begin by releasing pressure from the system and draining it. Turn off the water. Open any downstream valve to depressurize the system. Now verify that the pressure gauge is at zero before proceeding. Open the secondary filter. Find media, this may indicate a broken underdrain diffuser. Clean the secondary filter using high pressure water. Then put it back in place. To replace the underdrain diffuser, proceed with the following steps the top filling ports of all tanks. Inspect all the tanks and look for the one whose media level is low. This is most likely the tank with the broken underdrain diffuser. Open the side service ports of the tanks. Remove the media from the tank. any remaining media on the underdrain diffuser with a hose. Using a flashlight, look for the damaged underdrain diffuser. Unscrew the underdrain diffuser part. Now replace the damaged underdrain diffuser. Make sure that the side service port and its gasket are clear of any remaining gravel particles and close the side service port. Proceed to fill up the tank with media until the media level marker line. Clear any remaining gravel particles from the top filling port and its gasket and close the port. Once you've completed replacing the underdrain diffuser, turn on the water. Let the system operate for four hours. After four hours, depressurize the system again. Open any downstream valve to depressurize the system. Now verify that the pressure gauge is at zero before proceeding. Open the secondary filter and check it is clear for media. If you still find media, check for broken underdrain diffusers in the other tanks and repeat the above procedure for replacing it.